Come on, give God some praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> Come on, say, I can. I feel like going on. I feel like going on. Though trials come on it. Sing my way. I feel like pressing my my way. Oh, oh, oh. the trials come on it. Give God some praise in here. Hallelujah. I had to say that because sometimes, see, the old, the old body will get tired. But I, 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 I thank God for my brother coming in, to, kicking that old I can't spirit out. Amen. Somebody say in Jesus' name, I can. Hallelujah. Amen. And I just thank God that he is the great I am. Amen. He's the very present help in the time of need. You ain't got to go looking for God. Amen. And I just thank and praise him. And pastor, and when I say pastor, I'm country, but I know, you know, you can put apostrophe S on it. But see, I read in the word that, that, that see, the two became one. Amen. Hallelujah. So when I say pastor, I'm talking to both of them and they understand that. Amen. Because that's what God said. But I just thank God for allowing us to come in here. And I know at a young age, both of you probably seemingly may not have understood and may not have thought, you, you may have seen your life and said, this uninteresting, little humble beginning down in Louisiana, I mean Louisiana, down in Florida, down there where mama was cutting one limb off of one tree, splicing into another, and going to make some, something happen, and this fruit grew, grew on the tree, amen? See, nobody knows about that. But those humble beginnings begin to speak to me and remind me of some things. And I just want you to know, I thank God for you all. Amen? Amen? Pastor, sometimes I've seen you walk and see, I've known you for a little while. And, and you'll come up on the ground and I say, Pastor, he's, he, he's country, but he got some manners. Amen? He, he do. And if you come up, he might not have his shoes on, but he'll put them on for you. Amen? I'm going somewhere. Amen? See, beautiful are the feet. Y'all don't hear me up in here. Amen. So I, I thank God that he allowed me to come by here today because I got something to share with you. Amen. One of the things that dropped in my spirit, I'm so glad you can't Google God. Amen. Look at your neighbor and tell him. Say, don't get on your computer. Put the thing in your pocket. You can't Google God. The answers you need ain't going to pop up. Because, see, the prince of the air got something to do with them communication devices. Amen? You can't, I can't get a signal. You're wasting your time. Amen? And, and see, that's what I love about God. See, you ain't, you ain't got to worry about Googling nobody. You can just call on the name of Jesus. 
And see, the reason I can tell you that, one day I was on Eglin Air Force Base, and, you know, I'd be sitting in the office talking, and, and me and my partner, we listening to WBL, WBLX 93. Okay, I brought somebody back to some memory right then. Amen. And, and so I'd be sitting in the office, and, and I'd hear that, and then we'd be talking about things brothers shouldn't be talking about. And then all of a sudden, I'd get this feeling behind me. And I'd turn around and about six foot something standing in the doorway. He just, he wouldn't say, oh, you're going to hell. He wouldn't tell me that. What he would do is say, hey, Reggie Washington. And see, he walked in the love of God. So I didn't have to seek that on a computer. God sent it right to the door for me. Amen. Give God some praise for <laughs> Pastor Compton. I'm so glad I'm not hooked up to AT&T and Sprint when it comes to trying to get through to God. Because I pulled out my phone one time and I really needed an answer. And it, I didn't have no signal. And see, what I love about him and her is they're, co they're connected with God and they have an everlasting connection. Amen. And because, see, I'm underneath them. See, that covering is coming from God. And so I ain't going to never lose connection. And you say, well, you just praising them. No, I'm giving God glory for what he's done. Amen. The Bible says, give honor to whom honor is due. I'm not out of control. I'm not off the track. I'm right in there. Amen. Give God some praise up in here. <laughs> Hallelujah. And so I'm just so blessed that God blessed me with his grace and his mercy to stop by and hear and tell you all and everybody. And pastor, y'all know this, but I'm going to tell you anyhow. Um, you know, y'all was growing up, didn't know quite what it was going to be and know what you was going to turn out to be, and some people said you was going to be, amen, amen. Y'all know what people will say about you, right? They'll call you everything but a child of God, but I thank God that this was no surprise to him. Amen. Give God some praise up in here. Today is no surprise to God. When you look back and you see everything that's happened, you could have never imagined seeing what God has brought to fruition today. So I thank God for you and, and encourage you to continue on in what God is doing. Amen. If we could turn to Exodus 3, Exodus 3, verse 13 and 14. Exodus 3. Amen. Y'all with me? Amen. Well, read like you would read for me. Come on, come on. Say it unto who? All right, come on. Uh-huh. 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 You know how people are. They got something to say, amen. They going to say something. What are they going to say? Uh-huh. And what else? All right. Come on. Come on. What did he say? Come on. One more time. What did he say? Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. Church, I want y'all to say, I am. Okay, thank you, Holy Ghost. Say, in Jesus' name, I am. Thank you for sending me your son. Hallelujah. To speak the word, amen, and be obedient to you. Give God some praise, amen. Now, we thank him for Jesus, but we thank him for his angels, amen. Amen. So I, I thank God for that because I was reminded, you know, when I think about hearing pastor's testimony about being underneath the steps, you know, the little child underneath the steps. And, and, and Pastor Sherelle, they probably say, look at that big old tall girl with them big old eyes. You know, people are going to talk about you because they don't know why God is structuring you the way that he is. Amen. Somebody say, God made me. Say, don't watch, watch yourself. Tell them, watch yourself. Oh, you ain't looking at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, you better watch yourself. Say, God made me. Amen. Amen. I thank God. Amen. Give him some praise up in here. Hallelujah. And see, when God makes you, he makes sure that everything you need is already provided. Amen. See, when Moses was born, they was, they was trying to kill all them little boys. Amen. So God had a tailor-made ark for Moses made just for him. Amen. And one that would not fail, amen? One that would carry him right to where God wanted him to be, amen? Amen? See, that's what I love about our God, amen? 
And just like that, God, he, just like God made fix it where Moses would get to where he wanted him to be, that's what he did with you. He sent you right here to Crestview, Florida. I know y'all didn't know where that was, did you? You heard of Pensacola and Destin. Well, in Crestview? What's a Crestview, Florida? See, that's what I love about our God. Amen. Give him some praise up in here. Mm-hmm. See, the great I am, this, this is the one we're talking about. And what I love about him, somebody go to Romans. Let, let, let me make sure. Yeah, Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10, 14 and 15. See, God don't make no mistakes. Amen? They say, God changes mine. God changes not up in here. Oh, we're going to get a witness in a minute. Are we there? Come on, read, church. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. All right. Look at somebody and say, how can they hear without a preacher? All right, let's find out where the preachers come from. Come on, 15, read to me. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. Give him some praise up in here. Amen. Tell somebody we going somewhere. And somebody say, I ain't scared. Say, I can do it. Amen. Amen. Go to Matthew 22 and 14. Amen. Come on, read. What did it say? Amen. Any chosen people in the house? Come on, raise your hand. Give God some praise up in here. I thank God for, for chosen. Amen. It's a, go to Jeremiah 1 and 4. Jeremiah 1 and 4. Look at somebody and say, we're going somewhere. Amen. Jeremiah 1 and 4. Amen. Somebody say, I can. Sister Genesis say, I can. Come on, say, in Jesus' name, say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Come on, read, church. Uh-huh, keep going. Whoa, back up again. Before what? What happened? Somebody say, I got a purpose. Come on, give God some praise about that purpose. Amen. Come on, keep reading, keep reading. Uh-huh. Say, I'm set apart. Come on. Unto the nations, even Crestview, Florida. Amen. And that's what I love about God. See, even each one of us has a purpose. And he said, honor those. Give honor to those who are in authority over you. And I thank God, Pastor, for sending you all. Amen. I know it hasn't been easy. See, he said, many are called, but few are chosen. Amen. The ones that are chosen are the ones that will stick, stick there and stay in it. Amen. Because how many of y'all know when you, when you answer that call, it ain't so easy. Amen. Everybody don't be, everybody don't say, hey, how you doing? Praise the Lord, pastor. Amen. Oh, oh, where am I? Did I get lost? Did I dro get dropped off somewhere? Amen. I just thank and praise God that he's for real. He, he, he let us know. He said, be not weary in well-doing, for in due season you shall reap if you faint not. Amen. And he told you to, he said, told you to run and not do what? Be weary and, and, and walk and not do what? Walk and not do what? Don't faint because sometimes it's going to get hard. Amen. So God doesn't leave us. He doesn't lead us off into some blind thing. Do -do 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 -do, Tiptoe through the tulips. No, he's being very for real with us. Amen. 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 So all I stop by to do, Pastor, is encourage you, in encourage you to continue on. The Spirit of the Lord told me to tell you to continue doing what you've been doing. You've been telling them, amen? And when I say telling them, that means that includes me. Everybody point and say, brother, that includes you too. Amen. He said, continue to tell them, amen? And I'm going to say it like he said, tell them. Look at your neighbor say, tell them. Yeah. Say, that's including me, amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. 
He said, he said, tell them. This is what he wants you to tell them. See, see, one of the things you need to understand is God is omnipotent and omniscient. Amen. Come on, church. He's omnipotent and omniscient. Amen. That means he's all powerful and he's everywhere. Amen. So there's nowhere you can go, nowhere anybody can send you that God can't be there. Amen. And that's what I love about God. He even come to Crestview, Florida. Amen. And because, see, it ain't like the old days. Now the Bible says, know ye not that ye are the temple of God and that the spirit of God dwelleth within. Come on, church. Dwelleth within. Somebody say, dwelleth within me. Amen. Amen. That's what the scripture says. You know ye not that you are a temple of God and that the spirit of God dwelleth within you. So if the spirit of God is in me, amen, I need to be somewhere. Amen. Because I got something on the inside of me that somebody needs. Amen. So he wants you to continue to put that thing that he put in you when you was hiding under the steps and climbing up in the tree, acting like Tarzan, and jumping in the water, swimming all the way where nobody would see you, wondering if you had drowned because you learned how to swim a long way when they couldn't see you. See, God knows all about that. I wasn't there. Is this true what I'm saying right now? Amen. Hey, where what they used to call you? MacArthur. What's that other name? Silk and Slim. What's that other name? Come, come on, we in church. Rain. What? Ray, Mac, swimming man, total pole, tootle. They call him all kind of things, but they didn't know he was pastor, did they? Come on, give God some praise up in here. We going somewhere. And the Spirit of God told me to tell you all. And Pastor Sorrell, when you was walking and you had them big old shoes on, them big old high shoes, and you were stepping, and they were looking. What minister, J.D.? What's that, what's that, about the locker, what's that, what's that name? Yeah, the, the secret name, Pastor, you know about the locker, right? <laughs> Amen. Yeah, what he running into stuff, it'll make more sense to you later. See, everybody don't know your testimony, but see, God, your testimony is going to set, the blood of Jesus and that testimony is going to help somebody. Amen. And so Pastor Sherelle used to walk through the school, and as pretty as she was, she'll knock your teeth out if you don't watch it. Amen. See, and, and people are like, why is she being like that? Because God was training her up in the way that he needed her to go. He, you going to meet some Goliaths. That's what he was letting you know. You got to be able to look at a Goliath and tell him, you standing out there selling out, but I'm coming at you in the name of Jesus, in the name of my most powerful and my almighty God. I'm coming in the name of I am. Amen. Hallelujah. And God told me to tell you to continue to tell them that God is omnipotent and omniscient. Amen. Uh, he is your all in all. Amen. Uh, he's ever powerful and he's everywhere. God told me to stop by and tell you to tell them to don't be worrying about being loved. Because, see, we get all caught up when I don't know if he loved me. I got to get me some more weave. I got to get my pants right. Right. I need some of them $400 shoes. But God wants you to know, you tell them that the great I am, God is the greatest love of all. And I'm not talking about a song, but he said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Somebody say, God is. Say, God is. He said, tell them, don't worry about being lonely because God said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. You will never be alone because you can make your bed in hell. God can get there. You can, you can make your bed over here. God can be there. There's no place that our God cannot be. Can I get a witness? See, one thing I love about God, he wants you to tell them uh, that God is not shifty or two-faced. Anybody got a, can I get a witness in here? How about a two-faced friend? You can't count on them. They're fair-weather friends. But one thing I want you to know about God, he's not a fair-weather friend. He's an everlasting father. He's a friend that's sticking closer than a brother. Can I get a witness up in here? See, when you got God as a friend, you ain't got to worry about nothing else. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, go tell them, don't worry about sickness or the disease. 
because he is he is his name is Jesus he is the healer as a matter of fact he walked up Calvary's hill he took that cross as far as he could and the all seeing God knew he needed a little help in that man body because of that man body get weak sometimes sometimes it'll make you limp Sometimes it'll make you feel like you're dragging around. Sometimes you'll get sick and need a kidney. My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. He said, tell them my God can do all things. He can do everything. He can do everything but fail. The God you serve cannot lie. The God you serve will not change. He is the great I am. Can I get a witness? Uh huh. He said, Tell them that he's not a liar. He cannot lie. And I'm going to tell you something about God. If he said I was white, you better look out. Because I'll be combing my blonde hair or whatever kind he give me. Because, see, I'm reminded, he said, let there be light when there was no light. And then light began to be. Amen. Can I get a witness up in here? And God told me to tell you, to tell them one of these old days, one of these old days, he got a son that's seated at his right side. See, Jesus don't know just when the father's going to say, get up. Oh, yeah, y'all ready, y'all ready, y'all ready? Can I get a witness in here? If you love the Lord, say yeah. If you love the Lord, say yeah. All right, I'm going to back this thing up because, see, some of y'all been trapped. Anybody in here ever been trapped? Come on, anybody ever here been, been trapped? Anybody in here ever been tricked? Anybody ever been locked down? Well, one thing I want you to know about my God. Somebody say, my God, my God, my God. Come on, come on, say it like that. Say, my God, my God, my God. Come on, one time, one more time for you. Go ahead. See, the devil don't like that. I just set something up. See, the Bible says any two or, where two or three are gathered together in my name. Hallelujah. I'm right there in the midst of them. Amen. Uh, and I, that's what I love about God. Jesus is the healer. Amen. Uh, and one thing about that sickness, Jesus took all of it. See, AIDS was trying to creep around, and Jesus said, uh-uh. And then cancer was trying to creep around, and Jesus said, uh-uh. You say, well, Jesus didn't say that. This revelation knowledge. Amen. See, he took everything and bore it in his body. Amen. Uh, he took it all to the cross. Uh, he didn't let anything slip away. Uh, so if the doctor tell you you got the heebie-jeebie or the ABC, XYZ, you tell him Jesus said it is finished. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell him what the great I am said. Tell him what the great I am said. Tell him what the great I am said. Jesus said it is finished. Hallelujah. And he hung his head and he died. But one thing I like about him, he didn't stay dead. He went and laid in a barbary tomb. Can I get a witness up in here? The reason he laid in a barbary tomb, he didn't need one forever. Can I get a witness? You ought to stand on your feet right now. Hallelujah. Tell them. Jesus is not in a cemetery. He's not in a grave. <laughs> He's not in a grave. Tell them. He took the keys from Satan. He, he conquered death, hell, and the grave. Keep telling the message. You ain't got to Google God. You ain't got to twit God. You ain't got to do nothing like that. Just keep on preaching the gospel. Tell it like God said. Tell it. He said, tell it that, that his son, when he got up out of the grave, I thank God for the great I am. Can I get one witness up in here? How many thank God for Jesus? Hallelujah. And Jesus got up out of the grave. And he was getting ready to go, and he had to make sure some people seen him. Because you know if somebody got to tell the story. And I got to stop one minute, then I'm getting out of the way. Get ready. See, see somebody say, doubting Thomas. Y'all better stop saying that stuff people saying doubting thomas i'm gonna tell you who thomas is thomas it's truth seeking thomas amen oh it'll make sense in a minute 
You got one man that said, God, I ain't going to never leave you. I ain't going to never forsake you. And next thing you know, he's talking about, I don't know the man. Then he starts cursing. You got a tax collector who's been shifting money and cheating people, all going on and crazy. In other words, he was hanging out with a bunch of liars saved by grace. Amen. So you're going to believe him when they tell you they seen Jesus? See, he knows. See, truth seeking Thomas. Y'all got to stop right there, didn't you? Uh Uh-huh, because God wants you to know the truth will make you free. Can I get a witness? So the I am said, uh, keep telling the truth because the truth is going to make people free. Can I get a witness up here? And then see when Jesus had gone in and and he got up out of the grave, uh, he told told a woman, he said, don't touch me. I got to go see the Father, but I'm sending the comforter. How many thank God for the Holy Ghost up in here? Hallelujah, hallelujah. So you don't have to worry because the great I am is still here. And they're going to continue to preach what the great I am said. So God bless you and may God keep you. Say, I'll go on in Jesus' name. Say, I am that I am. Told me that I'm going to make it. I am that I am. Told me that the devil in hell can't stop me. Say, I am that I am. Told me that I'll be with him one day. One day he's going to crack the sky. He's coming back to get you and I. Come on, let's give God some praise up in here. Hallelujah. Go tell them what God said. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You better come on because I get on this thing and ride to the next station. I got another one up in here. Hallelujah. 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 Man, you're going to make me say something. Give God some praise. Oh, come on, church. Stand up and give God some praise. Really give God some Holy Ghost praise in here. Hallelujah. 20 years in celebration. 20 years in ministry. 20 years of hard work. 20 years of sacrifice. 20 years of giving energy. 20 years of virtue leaving. 20 years of stress. 20 years of depression. 20 years of so many saints calling on the pastors. Pastor, I need so many years is going by. And God is continually blessed and continually to keep you. The time is here. It has arrived. So it's time to get ready. Comptown Productions presents Poetic Justice. The realization of a Christian, pay attention and listen Open up your mind and ears and hear the words that I'm spitting I speak the truth about the one up on the throne I'm a witness about his son till my God calls me home Cause that's my destination, that's my reason for creation Christian education, information, other dying nation Plans this revelation time, ain't got time for no more games Took my pain, took my shame, sacrificed to win his name Clean my stains on the cross, Jesus Christ paid the cost to save the lost took the keys to death and hell to show the devil who's the boss He's in charge and got the power And his name, his name is Coward Judgment day has come upon us And it's God Almighty so. The time has come upon us Uh huh Jesus is coming back soon Yeah He's coming with his angel Uh huh To take his church on Yeah So if you ain't ready Uh huh Please quit wasting your time
understand is how people shun the hand Then turn around and claim that they're the son of man How can people say the most repugnant things with ugly things People need to wake up from their ugly dreams Seems you live by what's saved, always saved You make up these ambitions and take them to the grave Plus slap the name of God on them, calling them righteous Or if something went wrong, you said that God was behind it too frightened, too scared, too afraid Fear not, just trust in Jesus Now the holy gets away The time has come upon us Uh huh. Jesus is coming back soon Yeah. He's coming with his angels Uh huh. To take his church home
try to love you. Uh-huh. You gotta work the devil. Let me hear you. Get ready. Get ready. For Jesus Christ the King. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready. the Holy One. I pledge allegiance to the one who sent his only son. I want to hear him say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. And if I don't, I know that's all because I did not earn it. I pray that I'll stay true and never, ever live a lie. So in my life, Lord, will you be glorified with Jesus on my side? I know that I will overcome. So now I pray it's not my will, but thy will be done. I pledge my life, my faithfulness and dedication, pulling down strongholds, casting down imaginations to be a leader and never Never be a little fraud. I pledge allegiance to the kingdom of God. I'm saying, I pledge allegiance to the kingdom of God. Hey, I pledge allegiance to the kingdom of God. Hey, I pledge allegiance to the kingdom of God. Hey, I pledge allegiance to the. I pledge allegiance to the king of the Jews who was beaten and bruised, abused, refused. He was falsely accused, betrayed, and denied. You can hear the voices of the people shouting, crucify. Take him by soldiers and his clothes were torn. And then they place upon his head a crown of thorns. But these are not the thorns that are small and very dull. But these are thorns that penetrate right through the skull. And as you see down his face, he began to bleed. And then again, slap, smack him, hit him with the reed. There was a blindfold that was placed around his eyes. While they spit and hit him, telling him, now prophesy. There was a whip that was used strictly for the test. When they struck him with this whip, it would tear his flesh. And as the blood flows back and forth, he is tossed. Then they turn around and made him bear his own cross. There was a time Jesus thought they would not understand. And while he's teary-eyed, nails are dripping through his hands. So the cross is dropped into a hole by the point So that when it hits the bottom then it's gonna break his joints And so a soldier comes with a spear to pierce his side He looks at Jesus and sees that he's already died But now there's blood and water flowing from an open wound And on the same day he was buried in a tomb You're a Christian and you say you wanna be like Christ But will you change your mind when sinners wanna take your life? Your soul salvation is the thing that is concerning me Will you be ready when you step into eternity? Eternity, but now's the time to get it right for those who know they should. And it's too late when you are drowning in a pool of blood. For all our sins to the Lord, we gotta bring them. And don't bow down in submission to the devil's kingdom. I pledge allegiance to the kingdom of God. Say, I pledge allegiance to the kingdom. Say, I pledge allegiance to the kingdom of God. Say, I pledge allegiance to the kingdom of God. Come on, I pledge allegiance to the kingdom. I'm saying, I pledge allegiance to the. I said, I pledge allegiance to the kingdom of God. I pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the kingdom of my Jesus Christ. I pledge allegiance to the one who made the sacrifice. I pledge allegiance to the one who rolled the stone away. I pledge allegiance to the one who rose up from the grave. I pledge allegiance to Jesus Christ, the Son of Man, who rose up out of hell with all the power in his hand. I pledge allegiance to the one who made me whole again. Without the Lord, you know there's no forgiveness of your sins. I pledge allegiance to the kingdom that is most high, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, and the Savior. Your mouth Messiah, I pledge allegiance to the kingdom of the Holy One. I pledge allegiance to the one who sent his only son to be for real and never be a little fraud. I pledge allegiance to the kingdom of God. Say, I pledge allegiance to the kingdom of God. Say, I pledge allegiance to the kingdom of God. Say, I pledge allegiance to the kingdom of God. I'm saying, I pledge allegiance to the kingdom of God. I'm saying, I pledge allegiance to the kingdom of God. Hey, I pledge Allegiance to the and I'm ready. 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 For the next level, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. To fulfill my calling, I'm ready. To fulfill my calling, I'm 
you are a body that is submitted to Christ the King. You're ready because you are a body. One person came to Jesus and said, I'll follow you. Jesus said, foxes have holes. Birds have nests. But the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. He told somebody else, come follow me. Well, 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 let me go bury my father. He just died. But Jesus said, let the bear bury the dead. But you just go back and preach the kingdom. Another person said, I'll follow you. But first, let me go back and tell everybody goodbye. Let me bid them farewell. <laughs> Jesus told him, anyone who has put his hand to the plow and then look back, is not fit for the kingdom. So we have three we have three people, three people, three people who wouldn't step up. Three people who wouldn't step up to, to, to being truly submitted to Christ the King. his body to be a part of the body of Christ because the scripture didn't say Jesus didn't have a place to sleep it said the son of man had nowhere to rest his head those other people was not going to be the kind of body that could support his head they weren't going to be the kind of body that could support his headship Jesus is looking for a body. He wants a body. He's the head of the church. He's the head of the body. And I believe this ministry is stepping up to the plate to be a mature body that can uphold the weight of his headship. And whatever comes from Christ, where's the anointed flow from the head down? He is the anointed one. He is your head and it's coming right down on your ministry in the name of Jesus I just came out to bless you thank God for being a part of this celebration give God praise as we transition Woo! are you ready pledge allegiance to the kingdom of God pledge allegiance to the kingdom of God sing Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. I said, are you ready? You need to get ready. to 
let the Lord do what he needs to do. Stay out of the way. I'm not going not gonna to press it no more. You guys can have a seat if you can. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. God is good. Amen. Amen. <laughs>